Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about a topic that I see online coming up many many times. It's a question frequently asked. What camera shall I get for my kid? Now I can tell you which camera you should not get to your kid and that's those uh, toy cameras like Kiddy Zoom Zoom or whatever the name is. If it looks like a toy, it is a toy. So while it might be a good way to get your kid into photography, it might get them think about the cameras like they just toys. And also they are very, very bad quality, very overpriced and very, very limited usability. So I highly recommend not to get those cameras. But then what cameras to get? So while I can't give you a definite answer which camera to get for your kid, I can uh, give you some guidance on how to buy their first, second or third camera. And today I'm asking for someone to join me in this episode. And because I asked someone who's an expert on the field. So here we go, dear. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi, is it better? Yes. Good. So dear, do you remember your first experience with cameras? No. No? You are too small, isn't it? Yeah. Well, mommy was taking a lot of photos of you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So that's why you started copying mommy, I remember. Like you wanted to take photos. You used many, many things, not even cameras, but <laughs> just to imitate taking photos. So, which one was your first camera? Do you remember? That one. You remember when did you get it? No. Uh, I think you were about three or four when we first got your camera. And yeah, the first camera, in my opinion, should be an old point and shoot, easy to use and something that's really, really, really cheap. We got this camera for six or eight pound. So if he drops it as a kid, it doesn't matter because Basically, kids, they like to be kids, so they like to play and they like, as you can see, <laughs> they like to fidget with everything. And this camera we already have, it's, I think it was made in 2005, 2006. What? <laughs> Picture quality is probably better than those kitty zoom zoom cameras. It's, uh, it does zoom zoom. Do you know how many megapixels is that? No. No? No. Do you know how, how much zoom it has? No. No? No. No? No. Okay, do you know what's the maximum ISO you can no. get? No. no. Do you care about these things? But what things? About ISO and megapixels. You mean these? No, the, the, these things, like megapixels, do you care about them? Don't you want a 20 megapixel camera? Um, yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know what megapixels Exactly. Are. So as you can see, kids, they don't care about megapixels. That 3 megapixel camera was... You rem I remember that you take a lot of photos of mommy. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes even in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so do you remember what was the first things that you were shooting with that camera? You, mommy and my toys. Your toys, yeah. A lot. <laughs> and technically everything and anything. He was just enjoying using it and, and just went around shooting. He quickly learned how to turn off the flash, how to change basic settings. It was really surprising for me because I think you were about four years old. This camera, there's a fun fact about this one, that it's using this old Sony memory stick. And this memory stick was actually more expensive than the camera itself. And fun fact about the memory sticks, that the A7R 3 is still supporting memory sticks. If you look on the, on the camera slots, then it has the memory stick logo. And that was the reason why it couldn't be a UHS-2. Silly. Let's move on to the second camera. So your second camera was a bit more advanced, isn't it? And big. Yeah, and bigger. And it had a, it had a lot of zoom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 21 times zoom. So, do you remember when we got this one? No. No? <laughs> Wait, I think I do. I think I was fired that time. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, we went to Southport and we found it on our cash exchange. So yeah, basically for the first and second cameras, just go to local second-hand shops or charity shops or if you want to go, just go MPB and, and get something extremely cheap. So what did you like about this camera? I just 
like how it looks. It looks you nice. Like, yeah. So it's not about the more megapixels. I do like that as well. Yeah, what it means more megapixels. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> no, you're just saying that you like it, isn't it? Yeah. But you don't really know what it is. No. No. Yeah. So you just but my like favorite, how it looks. But my favorite one is this one. He was using this camera for about one and a half years, I think. Yeah. And he was just carried on shooting. So he started loving shooting. He started learning a bit of that composition. And uh, it has a more mm. dial on the top. So he started mm. to use how mm. to change shutter speed and mm. all these things. And this was the camera that you started making videos as well, right? Uh, you like to make videos? Yeah, but how do you, how do you get close to oh, this, right? Yeah, that's the zoom. As you can see that... It, he only likes it because it looks cooler. That's what matters for kids. They don't care about megapixels. They don't care about high end of platforms. I also like the. I also the like pop up flash. Yes. Yeah. Plop. <laughs> when you when you're choosing a camera, just really just get something, anything that your kid can start with. So this one was six pound or eight. I don't remember because we got two of them. One was six and the other one was eight. And this one was £35, I think, in a second-hand shop. And then we finally got to the one that he just got recently. And you just turn it on. <laughs> and this is your favorite camera? Yes. Yeah. So... Smile! Okay, so let's talk about this camera. Which one is this? Do you know? What's the name of the camera? Olympus! Oh, uh, you cheating. Your favorite <laughs> camera. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, uh, you like the Olympus? Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you like about it? I'm not sure. I just like it. Okay, but if you have to say three things that you like about this camera, what would be the three? One of them is is like the how it looks because I like yeah, it. Yeah, it, it looks, looks professional. Yeah, it looks better than this one. Yeah, so you like how it looks that... You uh, you like mommy and Dida having uh, big cameras, right? The other bit is I like it that you can change it from here to here and here. And yeah, here. so you can change between the viewfinder and... And, uh, and the last one is that you can do this. So like if, so if you need to shoot something straight and you're higher, then you can just... I see. So as you can see, kids have different importance like we do. They don't really care about picture quality. Uh, do you shoot in RAW or JPEG? A uh, what? Exactly. <laughs> they don't care about this either. I don't know what you mean! I know you don't know. That's the point. That's what I wanted to prove. That what do you care about when you're taking a photo? I care it about it looks good. It looks good, yeah. Yeah, I care about what I shoot at. Yeah. And, and, I, sh and I have a look of and I have I have a look of it before I take a picture if I think it's a good spot. Yeah, if so. it's not, then I'll just not shoot there. Oh, all right. I just shoot somewhere else. And I think I want to shoot this entire living room, which I already did. Yeah. So if you don't like the picture on the viewfinder, then you're not taking the photo. No. And that's or if I accidentally, expert advice. And if I accidentally um take a picture of it, I'll just delete it. Oh. So here's an expert advice. Don't take a shot. If you don't like it in the viewfinder, don't think that, oh, I will just do it in post-process and improve it. Kids don't do post-process. But he already learned that only take the photo if you like it, isn't it? If, if like it looks good on the viewfinder, it's a good picture. If it doesn't look good on the viewfinder, then it's a bad picture, right? And then I can just delete it, right? Because exactly. I can delete, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that button. The trash yeah. can. So, do you know all the controls on this camera? Yes. Do if you? I, yeah. Okay. You want to know what happens most of the time when I make videos? Yeah. They don't even they don't even show up. They, they don't, don't even show up when I look when at the picture. When you're pitch. playing back. Oh, I didn't know that. We will, we will look into that. Okay, so you say you're knowing all the controls. Mm. Okay, so I just what... don't know what this one does. Ah, so you're not all of them. That's a switch between one and two. Or this one. Isn't it a bit too much? Uh, too many buttons, too many functions for info? you. Info? I never press the info. <laughs> or menu! So as you can see that... 
functions oh, wise, this button they or just this button? like that it has lots of buttons, but he doesn't really know what it does. So just put them in program automatic, uh, so or normal automatic. Auto. And JPEG, if you want, you can put it on RAW, but they're not going to develop their images, are they? They can't even stand still. So <laughs> <laughs> don't get a camera like this pew, for your kid. Pew, Why would pew. you? Do you want to use this one? No. Come on, it, it's you can. Pew, pew. No, like, pick it up. Take a few shots. It's too heavy. <laughs> exactly. So. It's too heavy. <laughs> Did you just fart it? So as you can see, you you don't want to buy a camera like this for your kid because it's too big, too heavy, and why would they need a full frame? Or even a Micro Four Thirds is is a bit of an overkill, but because Micro Four Thirds cameras are very small, it's easy. So so they can just learn to uh, shoot with this, and it will grow with them. So it's going to be some sort of emotional attachment towards the camera. So this is an Olympus OM-D EM1 Mark One, which is uh, going dirt cheap these days. It's a professional camera, so it's kind of going quite good results let's be honest the first time your kids will just make pictures of everything so they can learn basic things like compositions and and uh, start to think like as he said if he doesn't like the picture in the camera he's just not taking it but even though the 99 percent of the pictures that kids take will be just bad so hey. <laughs> okay not yours yours are amazing which lenses do you like on this camera, by the way? Do you like this one, the 60mm? You were, what were you shooting with this one? Uh, which is? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I shoot at squirrels. One was posing for me! <laughs> yeah, you I mean two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Two was already posing for me. Yeah, but one of them you were shooting with this lens, which is a 14mm, 28mm equivalent. That was the one that was... Yeah, that was, that was posing, one. so technically the squirrel was like 3-5 pixels on the... But he still enjoys that. He still loves to take the photo, the experience of taking the photo. doesn't care about how resol what resolution it is, how sharp it is and corner to corner Yes, sharpness. I do. Do you? Yes, I care. I care if it's not a blob. If everything's just a blob. Well, okay, but what I'm saying is that do you care about uh, critical sharpness, corner to corner? What do you want? Or me you to just do? want it to be focused and, and yeah. I just want can. it to be focused. Okay. So I can have good pictures. What? <laughs> so I can have good pictures. <laughs> do you like the sixty millimeter? Yes. What do you like it about this one? I love it that you can zoom in. Yeah, you can you can get closer, isn't it? But what I don't like about it, it keeps on changing the focus. Oh, it's hunting a lot. Yeah, because uh, you were leaving it on macro distance. But macro. But you were, when you you remember you were taking some flowers yeah. from close. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's why it was hunting when you were trying to shoot a squirrel after that, because you were in macro. What about this lens, <laughs> this big one? You use this one as well, right? I like it. I yeah. like this one as well. This one is a 75300 for Micro Four Thirds. What do you like about this one? I love it that you can zoom in. All the way, yeah. But what were you yeah. shooting with it? it? Of course, you know, squirrels. You know yeah. that. I know that, but what, what part of the squirrel you were photographing? The part! <laughs> but I deleted it, you know yeah. that. Yeah, because when you were shooting, it was turning around and it was just the squirrel butt. Yeah. <laughs> you, you showed up for me. I didn't even want it. So overall, what do you like about photography, dear? The places, like if if I like the place, then I take a picture from Mary Bridley. Yeah. Like and then fun places. Fun places, and why yeah. you like to take pictures of them? And then because maybe like one time when I'm older and I have a child, and then I can show them the the place and then and then if they and then if we have enough money to afford it then we can bring the kid there or uh -huh. kid once we're older maybe. yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so thank you very much for your expert opinion okay 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 okay, okay. So, so as you can see kids they just kids and let them be just kids that's the best thing about them that they are crazy they are all over the place and if they start to become photography just make it fun for them make it like a, a joy 
just have fun and don't force them like uh, you know when you go out for a photo walk that then they will just oh okay I, I want to play now let them play because they're just kids and that's what matters isn't it so just get something very cheap for first one just see how they like it so they can start feeling the cameras pew, know pew, how to work pew. <laughs> have pew pew and once they got the affinity when you can start seeing that they taking pictures with a, a, a little composition in mind and things then you can start upgrading to an old camera not DSLR I highly recommend getting a micro four thirds because micro four thirds is just a very easy to use and a very small camera are you sleepy? no then what? I just want to hug you because right. I love you. I love you too. So just get, I, I, if you don't have a micro photos, so you can't give some lenses to your kids, then you're missing out. Get a micro photos. Honestly, you won't regret that. Uh, but for your kid, um, lenses are dirt cheap. You can get a, a very basic zoom for like 60, 70 quid. That's already quite good quality. That's a lot of pounds. Not for a camera <laughs> or a lens. So just make it fun for them, make them enjoy it, explore the world with them, just give them some options like, uh, okay, let's go out and shoot birds or something, anything. Yeah, I want to shoot know. birds one day. All right, tomorrow? Maybe like next weekend. Okay, next weekend. Next Sunday. All right. Sunday. High five. So I think that's it. To summarize up, as you can see, kids are kids. That's the most important thing about it. So you can get any camera to them, they'll be happy with it. Just make sure it's a camera and not a toy. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> you okay? <laughs>